Welcome back, savvy investors. Today, we're delving into the treasure trove of insights behind Genuine Parts Company. And let me tell you, the numbers we're about to crunch are as exciting as they are enlightening. Strap in because we're about to embark on a roller coaster ride through the financial universe of GPC. First up, let's talk about price to earnings ratios or P ratio. GPC's PR over the trailing 12 months stands at a tantalizing 16.24 slightly below its five-year average of 18.48. Looking forward, the PR drops even further to 13.44, indicating potential undervaluation in the eyes of forward-looking investors. But hold on to your hats, because here comes the PG ratio at 1.82, hinting at a balance between the company's growth prospects and its current valuation. Remember that a value below one is when a stock is considered undervalued to his growth prospects. Now let's zoom into profitability metrics. GPC's return on equity is a jaw-dropping 31.89%, showcasing the company's ability to generate earnings from shareholders' equity. Meanwhile, return on assets stands at a respectable 7.49%, signaling efficient utilization of its assets to generate profits. Speaking about earnings, the earnings per share or EPS rings in at a solid 8.85%, with a promising outlook for the next five years at 8.9% growth. Plus, with a dividend yield of 2.75% and a remarkable 5.86% dividend growth over the last decade, GPC isn't just about growth. It's about rewarding its shareholders too. But wait, there's more. The company's operating margin sits at 7.38%, while its profit margin clocks in at 5.44%, showcasing operational efficiency despite market challenges. Speaking of challenges, GPC's journey over the last eight years has been a roller coaster of ups and downs in revenue and earnings. However, despite the turbulence, the company has managed to steer through, albeit with a lower total return compared to VO S&P 500 ETF during the last five years. Now let's navigate through the rough seas of financial stability. GPC's debt-to-equity ratio is a manageable 1.01, with long-term debt showing an even healthier ratio at 0.93. This suggests the company isn't overly burdened with debt, giving it flexibility for future endeavors. Now, let's fast-forward to the present. With a market cap of a whopping $20.06 billion and an average price return of minus 20.06% over the last 52 weeks, GPC has faced its fair share of market volatility. But fear not, intrepid investors, because analysts are painting a rosy picture for the future. With an average price prediction of $155.95 in the next 12 months, representing an 8.52% upside from the current price of $143.71, the outlook is bright. And guess what? My fair value estimate for GPC stands at $158.35, suggesting potential undervaluation and paving the way for exciting opportunities ahead. So there you have it, folks. Genuine Parts Company isn't just another player in the market. It's a powerhouse of potential waiting to be unleashed. With solid fundamentals, promising growth prospects, and a sprinkle of undervaluation, GPC might just be the diamond in the rough you've been searching for in the stock market jungle. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more financial content, and let us know which stock you want us to break down next. Until next time, happy investing!